Hey, how you doing? Justin here and back again for another chord exploration shape. Today we are checking out the A chord, which there are less variations on this one than the C, D and the G chord videos, which I'm hoping that you've seen already, but there are still some really useful and practical things that you can do with the A chord to spice it up a little bit. So let's get to a close up and check that out. So here's our standard A chord grip and we're going to explore the various options we've got here like we've done with the other ones. So there's the first shape, uh, lifting off the third finger. We've got an A sus2. Of course, you, some of you might be playing an A chord that way, you know, that's fine too. That's the traditional way. I think you'll find that this way is a bit better, but uh, up to you. It, all of these variations will work the same way even if you're using a different fingering. But lifting off the third finger, or whatever finger it was holding down the note on the second fret of the second string, lift that off and you've got an A sus2. Okay, lift off first finger and you've got an A7, okay? Now sometimes A7 will sound great, sometimes it won't. If it doesn't, then the other option that you might think about is putting your first finger down in the first fret of the first, uh, the first fret of the third string, which gives us an A major seven. You can hear the difference. That's a kind of real kind of happy, almost slightly jazzy kind of a sound, but lifting the first finger off, to the sevens, definitely a bit more rootsy, a bit more bluesy rock kind of thing going on. So experiment, one of those will work, right? So just use your ears, listen, see what works. Lifting off the second finger, or whatever note was playing the second fret of the fourth string. Really, really nice little variation. You should definitely get into lifting that uh, second finger. The A's a little bit more restricted than the D, C and G are, to be honest. It's, it's not my first choice if I'm looking for doing specific chord combinations because my fingers are already a bit cramped up. I don't feel like I, I can access a whole lot. Uh, little finger can go down in the third fret of the thinner string. That'll give us an A7 chord. Really great kind of blues grip. But again, if I was playing that for real, I'd probably be more likely to use a little A as a, a mini bar there and add that note. Uh, regardless of if I play it this way or with lots of different fingers, adding this note here, the second fret of the thinner string, this is an A6. Okay, there's a few different things that you can do with that. Otherwise, little fingers are a bit restricted, unless you've got a really long little finger and can stretch up here somewhere. The, the notes here on the third fret are all pretty horrible for, for little finger, so you're a bit restricted there. Um, if you're doing it A with a bar like that, you can add in a uh, third finger. Again, you want to be muting the thinner string if you're going to do that one. You can add third finger, which will give you a really nice A add nine. add little finger down on the, uh, the fifth fret of the thinner string. Even if it can cover the thinnest two strings. Then you've got an A power chord like might, you might use in as a few, a few songs that use that kind of effect as well. It's a pretty groovy one. Uh, you can add third finger down in the fourth fret of these, uh, fourth fret of the fourth string. available to play the rest of the chord. You can even add second finger, third fret of the second string at the same time as the third finger uh, in the fourth fret of the fourth string. That's a really nice little variation you can use, popular rock and roll thing. But you know, generally speaking, if you've got an A, a regular open A chord in a, in a song that you're strumming, kind of restricted to that, unless you were going to play the A that way, in which case you've got all of those little variations, so, and that of course. Yeah, you can, there's going to be times where lifting off the whole chord is going to sound cool and you should kind of embrace it and you know look for those little places to use an unusual uh, chord variation if you can. Uh, note that I'm using my thumb quite often to mute the thicker strings. I often don't want that E note unless I'm doing like a you know kind of country feel deliberately moving the bass note over but generally speaking you want to be muting that uh, thicker string if you can either with the thumb or with the, the strumming hand perhaps uh, resting on that particular string.
Now we looked at all of these variations for the A major chord. Do remember that they all still apply for the A minor chord, but do remember that you're not going to substitute A and A minor. That's not a happy uh, combination usually, but if you've got the A minor, these ones are very common. Little finger, sus, lifting off first finger. that stuff applies for the minor chords. Just don't substitute A major and A minor together. That's definitely not a winner. Well, there you've got all of the variations for the A chord. Do remember the key thing is to put them into practice. So go and find some songs that have got the A chord and see how many of these different variations you can use that make sense. Make sure you keep your ears open and you listen. If you do one and it's like, oh man, that didn't sound very good. That's okay. It might sound great in another song. Okay. So it is very much a song thing. You just want to use your ears. Your ears will always tell you if something's good or not much more than the theory stuff. Theory sometimes says, yeah, you can definitely do this, but you try it and your ears go, oh, I'm not sure. That means don't do it. Okay, if the theory says yes, but your ears say no, the answer is no, don't do it. Same the other way around. Okay, so it's really important that you do things that sound good more than things that theoretically should work. Okay, it's a really big deal. Uh, so really hope you're enjoying this series so far. We've got one more shape to do, which is the E shape. So hopefully I'll see you for that right now. Bye-bye.